guys and welcome back to the Nordic Tourist. Today we take on our second episode of the Wild West of Finland series. Today it's a little bit different though. We've been invited to a special event in the north of the southern Ostrobotnian region in Lake Lapajärvi by the mayor of Vimpeli, Alajärvi and Lapajärvi to witness a world record attempt at an ice carousel. This is the first of what the local communities hope will become a staple event on the Southern Ostrobotnia winter events calendar. The fact that this is an attempt at the ice carousel world record coupled with other firsts and record attempts should make for a nice day out. Today we are heading northeast from Katikan Kanyani, two hours and 11 minutes to the northeasternmost area of the Southern Ostrobotnian region, Lake Lapajärvi. Lapajärvi is the largest crater lake in Europe and it has a circumference of about 80 kilometers and is about 15 kilometers at its widest most point. Most winters Lake Lapajärvi freezes over completely and the surface of the lake turns to ice around a meter thick most years and can last for several months during the winter time. In all it took over two days to cut the ice and by the end, they had cut just under one kilometer of ice in the carousel's outer circumference. As the attempt today will be in the ballpark of 305 meters in diameter. The preparation required for such attempt took many days to set up for and required many man hours to move the snow atop the lake so that Yane, the modern day father of the ice carousel and creator, could get down to the ice to begin work. So we just came, we just got to the event today. We're at Kivitipu Hotel where it's happening and it's happening just out front of the Kivitipu Hotel. And the, you know, despite it not being a, a public event, there seems to be quite a lot of people here. And it was a big thing in the local news over the last couple of days. So it seems that they've used some quads to push the very deep snow that was out here until a few days ago. The, the weather is a bit weird today. It, um, it's quite quite sunny but with that sun has brought warmth which has brought a lot of wet wet snow. It's a beautiful day and like I said before it's uh, it's kind of a bit of a strange day. It's the sun's out but that means that the ice is starting to melt and it's actually six degrees it's not negative anymore so basically that means that the ice is all melting and it's very solid solid ground if you look at it this lake is quite quite a beautiful vast lake so we're just going to head out there now <laughs> yeah, it's wet. <laughs> well, a bit wet through there. So, as you can see, we probably should have wore our gum boots, which we chose not to wear, which was a stupid idea. But I'm glad I put those uh, wool socks on. But if you have a look, just there. <laughs> Just down there, right next to me there, that's the, the hole that they've cut. So along the, we're along the, the cut line right now and we've actually spotted one of the motors just, just there. One of the motors that will help turn this uh, ice carousel. Looks like they're just uh, keeping the hole clear so it doesn't freeze back over. I don't think there's any chance of that today though with the, with the temperature the way it is. But if we just move along the, the ed outer rim of the actual thing itself, we should be able to pull up next to, yeah, the little boat motor that's just there. It's, that's one 20 horsepower motor. A little sketchy at the moment. So uh, <laughs> this is the, the crossing, you have to try and cross a, a moat full of uh, water and the water is just the, the snow, the snow top melt 
down to the level of the ice, which is about that thick there. And <laughs> this is basically the only place we can go across it. And uh, let's just see, now I've got the spikes from the last episode, so uh, maybe maybe I might make it this time without dying. So, oh, it, <laughs> it seems to be that I have, so. All right, now we've got to navigate even more <laughs> marshlands. It's like, it's like marshlands. It's like it's like iced marshlands. Like it's just everywhere. All the snow has melted down to the ice and created a pool of water that we need to walk through. And I'm glad Mark went back and grabbed my boots because I said, "Nah, we're not going to need them. It's cold enough." But no, no, no. Of course not. It's never it's never perfect conditions when we do stuff like this. There are plans for various activities to take place on the rotating ice carousel. Right in the middle they've got an ice sculpting competition going on here with all their uh, generators and air chainsaws and everything sculpting away at their ice sculptures. Just one of the very many things that they hope to in the future bring to this La Payarvi Lake and hopefully next year and the year after it will become a staple in the, the calendar in the southern Ostrobotnian region, especially in winter, because winter seems to not have that many things currently at the moment on the calendar. This guy here seems to be melting the top of the block, of the ice block, to bring the, the sculpture into a level and these ice blocks that are on the ground, they seem to be the blocks of ice that were cut out from around the circle, which is kind of kind of like nice. It's cool. They've reused the, the ice that they were going to cut out and just leave. It seems that, that there are little blocks in like that now, and they're turning them into, a, into an ice sculptures with on the ice. And as you could see over there, she was carving. He's uh, adding and leveling what seems to be a wall of ice with something that looked like it was heated up and melting the top of the wall. The sculptures took many hours of meticulous handcrafting to produce. Here are the finished ice sculptures that were produced by day's end. Ah, uh, <laughs> we're just trying to get through all this uh, snow and because I weigh nearly 100 kilo, all I'm doing is going straight down to the wetness underneath. Inside the large carousel was a small one. This was to be the home of the mayors for the event and was outfitted for overnight stays. This was set up so as to turn in the opposite direction to the large disc. So it looks like we've reached the camp that the three mayors will be camping in or have already camped in. Uh, just there, there seems to be a, a palio out the, out, the, out the front as well, which is, palio is, is a hot tub in English so they've got a wood-fired hot tub just there for their uh, for their warming up during the, this event and the three mares are just on the carousel there that's their tent that they've been camping in and it looks like that all three of them are over there right now so we might go over and just uh, say hello crossing the void <laughs> holy shit. that's quite intimidating actually it's bloody intimidating all right but uh we're gonna head over right now while we're on the round so we're with here with the three mayors of the northern regions area in Etalapohyama. hello my name is Vesa and I'm mayor of Alajärvi city hello everyone I'm uh, Sam Leijona Mieli and the mayor of Vimpeli hello everybody I'm Sami Alasara mayor of Lappeenrannan I think it was Sami's, Sami's idea this uh, this whole event, but the skiing mm. the skiing event was uh, kind of uh, my idea. Last summer we marched around the lake, and it was Sami's idea. And then I got this idea that perhaps uh, we should ski around the lake as well. During the summer it was so terrible, and we didn't uh, learn anything from <laughs> that that <laughs> event. So we decided let's ski over the lake. Yesterday you did the skiing. How was that? So it was an awful, awful case. <laughs> yeah. Why? You, you, you can see. Yeah. The, the, you can look at over around. You know, so the, you the snow was really sticky. Okay. So it was really difficult to ski. So how long did it take you? It's 80 kilometers around this lake. How long did it take? It took uh, 14 hours and 10 minutes. Oh. Yes. So at the end of the day, you went home to your nice, comfortable bed and had a good night's sleep, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
we sleep in a tent. You slept yes. in the tent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think we were so extremely tired that. Uh, <laughs> good, good. It doesn't, it really matter, doesn't matter. Where it doesn't you're matter sleeping. where we. Are. <laughs> should Should I tell about that? We were thinking, this have to be like a symbolic, symbolic like a show of even for people. That three three mayors, three cities, we will cooperate and. Doesn't matter what is the skiing conditions, if we have a path or we don't have a path, we just proceed. Yeah. Now it's the time to not to panic, but time to cooperate and look after your friends. Like and leave never, no man never behind. give up. Yo, yeah. I think so, think so that the most important thing is to make something together because we are quite a small municipalities. So, so we have to make things together, not only skiing yeah. and these kind of things, so many things. What this, this helps a lot. We have uh, together, we are much bigger. Where did the idea to do this come from? No, no, no. Actually, actually this, this Janne Capulehto yeah. called me, called, called me and, and said that this kind of possibilities that we can make this eye carousels. And, and after that, I, I think about a couple of seconds and I said, <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the actual size? Uh, 308 meters. So, you know, there, there was uh, some kind of uh, attempt uh, to break the world record, I guess in, in, in a USA, USA at yeah. the same time. Yes. yes. So we couldn't actually release the actual size of the <laughs> until <laughs> until yeah, today. Until today. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have plans for this to be a regular event, if possible. Global level uh, event. Yeah. Definitely. Yes, exactly. Use this as a platform to do something for our municipalities. Besser. Sam, Sammy, yeah. thank you, thank you so very much for your time. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. But well, we're just going to head in and check their check their setup out and their tent out. Okay, guys, we're inside the, the tent that the three mayors spent uh, last night in. Luckily, it wasn't that cold, but hey, even if it was, they have a tent which actually keeps the heat in, and this here is their little uh, fireplace and the little chimney. They each slept in one spot each, there, there, and there. And this tent inside here is quite warm, quite dry. It's actually, it actually is working quite well. Thanks to, thank to the mayors for, for allowing us to have a look inside here, but we're gonna head out now and go and check out the ice sauna. So We're just at that ice sauna that I was talking about with all the insulation and the looks like a heat pump out the side there. We're just going to ask uh, one of the guys who made it what's actually up with that. Look, it is a heat pump. <laughs> it's a little weird, but it is a heat pump. Oh, wow. So the heat, now I, now I get it, the heat pump is for the person in the room here when they get exactly. out of the sauna exactly. and yeah. they actually do have a kill. Kiwas. Kiwas. Or uh, I don't know what that is in English. Sauna, yes, sauna stove. But yes, yeah, look yes. at it. They're heating it up and it's actually, uh, yeah, there's a sauna inside of yeah. e an igloo basically. So <laughs> this, yeah, is, basically. this is basically yeah. a bit, bit of a different thing that I've never come across before, which is quite, quite uh, unusual. If we come back out here, they seem to be a little bit behind on the, the main ring cutting. They seem to be cutting it still over there with a chainsaw. Well, they said they were a bit late at the start of the day. Even though this little one is spinning over here where the mares are on, the big one hasn't been turned on yet. They haven't turned the, the motors on yet to actually get it going. So let's hope. Oh, let's hope. Let's hope. Uh, they get it going. It's been great today where everyone speaks English. They have a Kivi Tipu hotel just over there. They've got a public sauna. It just, it's an absolutely beautiful crater lake here. And today's been quite a lovely day despite it being above zero. 
It seems as though they've started the motors and the big one's gonna start turning real soon. I think they're just making the final cuts over here. I'm not sure what they're doing. It looks like they may be anchoring the outer edge with a plank of some sort. It looks like they're uh, they're putting a, a snatch strap or a tie down strap to, to it and they've got it hooked into the ice there while the motor starts revving and they're gonna pull it around. They're giving it some power. Yanni's giving it some power. Seems like they're having maybe some drama getting the, the motor to turn the ice. They're trying to jack it, jack it around to get it started where the motor is gonna push it and keep it pushing around. I like this uh, this jerry rig or this MacGyver that they've done with the, it's just a couple of pallets and a bit of wood on the ice with a boat motor with a tank. So apparently I just heard from around the attempt in North America that was happened a couple weeks ago actually failed. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see if they get this thing moving or not. But there seems to be a lot of attention down here right now where everybody is gathering to see hopefully this thing start rolling it seems that they've gotten the ice to start slightly turning wow it weighs quite a few ton of ice so to get a 20 horsepower motor just there and some guys pulling it to get it to start going that's uh, quite a feat World's largest ice carousel that just started to spin. Whether it's uh, going to continue to spin, uh, it's very really exciting. So uh, you heard it from Janne. They've got this uh, 30 ton, over 1,000 foot uh, piece of ice, diameter across ice. Actually, they've got it to start spinning. So we're just here now with Janne Capoletto. He's actually just giving it, pushing it with a piece of uh, wood down underneath the ice. Uh, and he's getting it to go there with about 30 tons of ice to circle it's uh, quite a surprise that, that 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 it's even got to start spinning but this is going to take a very 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 long time to get going as it's spinning quite slow but no it has to circle one time right one round for the record to be made circle of ice that weighs over 30 ton has to go a full 360 degrees without uh, stopping so basically only minutes after they started getting this thing to roll it seems to have uh, come to a bit of a, a stop at the moment I don't know what or why it has stopped but my bet is it's a it's a 30 ton of ice and over a thousand feet in diameter that's a it's quite a feat to try and push with just a, a couple of boat motors over there so whether they get it going or not and whether they make the record or not is, a, is another is another thing so we've come to the end of our little adventure at the lake we we hope that everything goes well into the night and hopefully they catch the record but uh, we're gonna head off now but we're gonna keep in touch with uh, with Yanne and all the people that we met here today we'll definitely show you what happens and the outcome of what actually happens today so thanks guys again for tuning in and don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below and comment where you'd want us to go so I'll see you in the next video Although the world record was not broken during our visit, 48 hours later at 19.30 on the 1st of the 3rd, Yanni and his team did get the large ice carousel to make a full rotation. At 310.76 meters in diameter to set a new world record. They also set a record for the first rotating finished baseball game played on a rotating ice carousel. Messi! Messi!